Uh, your attention, please. Today's program is about to begin. Please take your seats.
Ladies and gentlemen, your graduating class of 2017. All right. Sit down. Sorry. Yes. Welcome, everyone, to the 2017 Mission Secondary School Commencement Ceremony. I am the lovely Jack Walton, and this is Sherry Lee. And we are honored to be your hosts for this afternoon. A brief note about the emergency procedures. In the event of a water landing, the life jacket under your seat will inflate with a quick pull of the red cord. You can use the mouthpiece to add additional air. Note the exits located there and there. No, there's no inflatable slide, but there is a bouncy castle at the daycare next door. Thank you. At this time, we'd like to ask the grads of Vox, our vocal jazz group, to come and lead the singing of our national anthem, O Canada. They will be accompanied by Henry Tusi on the piano. Please stand. Thank you, Vox. Please remain standing. <laughs> In recognition of our ceremony taking place on unceded Stalo territory, we would like to invite up to the stage Tyrone Peters and Jesse O. Coyote, who honor all of our graduates and their accomplishments with a traditional honor song.
Thank you. And by the way, this would also be a good time to make sure that your uh, phones or electronic devices otherwise are silenced. If you can't do that, I know a guy. Not really. Uh, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vice Principal Tom Newen for some opening remarks. Thank you, Mr. Walton. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge that we are on the traditional, ancestral, unceded, and shared territory of the Sumas and Matsui First Nations. Graduates, family, friends, staff, colleagues, and honored guests, welcome. My name is Tom Nguyen, and I have the esteemed privilege of being a vice principal at Ecole Mission Senior Secondary. I would like to formally welcome some people to today's ceremony. Our elders, our school trustees, Rick McCamey, Tracy Loeffler, Randy Cairns, Jim Taylor, and Shelley Carter. Also here today are our superintendent, Mr. Angus Wilson, and assistant superintendent, Mr. Larry Jepson. I would also like to welcome and thank our awards presenters who have provided scholarships to our students to aid in their continuing education. And most importantly, I would like to welcome today's grads and their guests because today is all about you and your accomplishments. In my first year as a vice principal at MSS, I'm struck by how proud I am of this class. When I walk the halls of Mission Senior Secondary, I'm greeted by mature young men and women. Yes, parents, this is true, most of the time. I'm met by students who have given back to the community through their leadership activities. Uh, even in the last few weeks of the year, our graduates were giving back. In fact, just the other day, the grads gave me the opportunity to extend myself and enabled me to have experiences that have never before been realized, including climbing up to the roof of the school to retrieve a gym bench that had been remarkably well balanced. So, grads, thank you for the opportunity to expand my learning. Truly, however, I am amazed by these individuals and their academic and athletic abilities their talents on and off the stage, and their commitment to inclusion and acceptance within our community. And on that note, I would like to say congratulations and thank you to the graduating class of 2017 for a wonderful and memorable year. You have made it, and I am proud that we are all a part of Roadrunner Nation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nguyen. And now, to say a few words on behalf of the Board of Trustees, we would like to introduce our Board Vice Chairperson, Ms. Tracy Loeffler. Welcome. Who's hot? <laughs> Let me start off by saying that I am humbled and honored to uh, be here today. It's always a privilege to speak at these events, but today is extra special because I know some of our graduates personally, and I know even more of your parents. I'm also a very proud uh, Road Runner Nation alumni, having graduated from MSS a while ago. <laughs> And on behalf of the Board of Education, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of our staff for their contributions to our achievements this year, including uh, all of our staff's volunteer time to set this up today. Excellent job. Uh, there have been many successes that we can all be proud of to our teachers, support staff, and administrators. Each and every one of you makes a difference in the lives of our students, and for that, we are grateful. 
On behalf of the board, I say thank you. But today, the graduates, it's all about you and honoring your achievements. You did it. And so today, we celebrate. And while the word commencement means a beginning or a start, today is also a time to reflect back on how far you've come and the people who have helped you get here. Think about the teachers who went above and beyond to help you learn, the friends who have laughed and cried with you along the way, and your parents or other adults who have supported you and loved you no matter what. No one achieves success in life without support. So make an effort to thank those people and tell them how much their support means to you. As you walk across the stage to receive your diploma today, carry them with you and hold them in your heart. Today is also a time to look forward and dream about your future. What does your future look like? The poet Mary Oliver asks, tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? Your life is precious and time is of the essence. Do it now. Fill your life with adventures, not things. Have stories to tell and not stuff to show. Be kind and begin each day with a grateful heart. Be gentle with yourself, but fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. Laugh and know that you don't have to have it all figured out to make for progress. Simply begin with a single step. Be humble and work hard. Never stop learning and always ask questions. Whatever you do, do it well. And always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. You have already worked hard and achieved so much, and you already have what it takes to live the life that you want. Everything you need is already deep within you. Enjoy this moment, be grateful for how far you've come, and look forward to what comes next. On behalf of the Board of Education, congratulations to the class of 2017. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now honored to invite our illustrious super superintendent, supreme leader, and poet, Mr. Angus Wilson, to say a few words for us. Mr. Wilson. Yeah. Oh, hey, sir. Yeah. No, I've, you should come here. I've, I've finally found a room that you might be almost warm enough in. Oh, hi, everyone. Sorry. <coughs> the, the paper is wilting, in case you're wondering. Sorry. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for honoring your invitation to attend. Parents, students, staff, and guests, Welcome to the 2017 commencement for Mission Secondary School. I bring greetings from the district and our Board of Education. I want to acknowledge all the hard work of the teachers, support staff, and principals in getting these graduates uh, to this place and this point. And while all the grade 12 teachers have done a fantastic job, I also want us to all remember all the grade 4 and grade 8 teachers um, and all the fantastic work that they've done. So basically, grads, if you see a kindergarten teacher today, go up and hug them. Just like random hugging of kindergarten teachers. They'll wonder what's going on. It'll be, it'll be great. So please do that. And for those of you that are teachers, you know, you spend a lot of time, especially in kindergarten, telling the students, slow down, be careful, hold on, be patient, and so on. And the problem is, teachers, we were wrong. And I thought a, a poignant point to make today is that 40 years and one month ago today, a little art film by a guy named George Lucas debuted in New York. This little film, you might have heard of, is called Star Wars, harkened back to the fantasy and romance of a bygone era, and was a perfect escape movie of the late 1970s, with its space wizards, lightsabers, evil empire, and highly marketable cast of characters. It quickly invaded pop culture, including schools. Some have even likened teachers to Jedi. Not me, I'm just saying some people have. Out there, students, you will face an evil empire. The empire is to be found where there is a truck idling, wherever there is a violent outburst that goes unchecked, wherever a person does not fulfill her or his potential, 
Whenever a person is more consumed by greed than compassion, wherever a person is abused and not helped, all of these and so many more are ways in which an evil empire exists on our planet. Injustice comes in many forms, large and small, trivial and substantial. They must all be struggled against. And now, more than ever, it seems that that empire has manifested itself in fear of science, fear of others, fear of the future, and fear of difference. We don't have time to hope that this will recede like the end credits of a great movie. On planet Earth, back in the 1960s, a brave Jedi master named Martin Luther King was asked to be patient because it was not the proper time. He said in response to this, such an attitude stems from a tragic misconception of time, from the strangely irrational notion that there's something in to the very flow of time that will inevitably cure all ills. Actually, time itself is neutral. It can be used either destructively or constructively. Human progress never rolls in on wheels of inevitability. It comes through the tireless efforts of men and women, and without this hard work, time itself becomes an ally of the forces of social stagnation. We must use our time creatively in the knowledge that the time is always ripe to do, to do right. Reverend King was fighting the evil empire himself, as we need each of you to do now. Your Jedi weapon, the lightsaber of knowledge, if you will, will allow you to meet your potential. You'll use it to fight against mediocrity. You'll use it to become the best people you can be. Like Reverend King, I want to say to you graduates, be impatient. Don't wait for things to happen. Make them happen. Become the person you want to be. Don't let the evil empire turn you into something else. Work hard at your job, live up to your responsibilities, but don't get caught up in the work and the money. Be doctors and plumbers and park wardens and mechanics and sports therapists, but be parents and volunteers and politicians and voters and uncles and aunties. Remember, as you now become our Jedi Knights, you will be responsible for keeping that evil empire at bay. You can't be patient. Now you must go make your life what you want it to be. We have given you the power, and you must go and uphold the things you believe in. Class of 2017, may the force be with you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. All right, future Jedi Knights. Our next speaker has been an MSS for a long, long, long time. He knows the stuff. He's a trainer. He's a spinner. He's fit as a fiddle. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to welcome our principal, Mr. Jim Pierce. Well, I'm glad it's not the hottest day out there. Really. Parents, relatives, friends, special guests, colleagues and students of the Mission Graduating Class of 2017, Welcome to this afternoon's ceremonies. Well, grads, you've actually done it. After 12 or maybe 13 years, for some of you, long, and I mean long years, you're here, tonight, here this afternoon, ready to take the next step. Graduation is an intermission between school and real life. For a few moments, the development of the class of 217 stands in freeze frame, allowing us to recapture the past and anticipate the future. My role this evening provides me with the opportunity to share some thoughts about the past and give some advice to your parents as you embark on adulthood and describe your journey into the future. The grads tonight have reached an important milestone in their lives. It's probably the most significant juncture to date on the road to adulthood, and the journey on the road will offer new experiences and challenges which will include freedom, independence, choice, responsibility, and opportunity. These words mean more than just getting a job and going to university, living at home for the next 10 years, which I must say I think parents would poke their eyes out if that was going to happen, or traveling or spending Friday nights just hanging out. These words can and will form the basis of your successes and failures in your careers and personal lives, and how you interpret them will make all the difference. I want to share with you my take on these five words and how they can be defined which may help you achieve your goals and your dreams. Freedom. You will have greater freedom to think differently. I must say that some of you have thought differently since grade 10, in which I've had a headache for that long, trying to figure out what the heck you were really trying to say in most cases, and realizing you were just putting me through some weird test that only you could understand. 
Freedom will allow you to challenge conventional thought and to ask the hard questions of yourself and others. You may not find answers, but you will expand your thinking just from having thought about the question. Think differently. It will open your world. Independence. I know some of you thought you should have independence when you came to Mission three years ago, but you soon found out that when things got tough, you needed support from people who thought you did, that you thought you didn't need anymore. I guess they get the last laugh. We have supplied you with a truckload of information in the last three years. Now use your found independence to mold that information into creative, imaginative thought, which may someday help make us or make this world just a little bit better. Choice. Your choices will increase. That is a choice to continue learning and share learning to what makes us grow as individuals. A poem I read the other day about choice caught my interest. And you probably can all remember missing a class at least once. Now, I'm sure this class never missed any. If you did miss, then you would go into the teacher the next day and say, did I really miss anything last day? And this poem describes a few responses to that question. The poem is titled, Did I Miss Anything? A question, a question frequently asked by students after missing a class. Well, you didn't miss anything. When we realized you weren't there, we sat with our hands folded on our desk in silence for the full period. You missed everything. I gave an exam worth 40% of the grade for this term and assigned some reading due today, which I'm about to hand out and quiz you, and that's worth 50%. You didn't really miss anything. None of the content of this course has any value or meaning. Take as many days off as you like. Activities we undertake in this class, I assure you, will not matter either to you or to me and are without really purpose. You missed everything. A few minutes after we began last time, a light descended and an angel or other heavenly being appeared and revealed to us what each woman and man must do to attain divine wisdom in the life and hereafter. This is the last time this class will meet before we disperse to bring this good news to all people on earth. Now, you really didn't miss anything. When you're not present, how could something significant occur? You missed everything. Contained in this classroom is a microcosm of human existence assembled for you to query and examine and ponder. This is not the only place such an opportunity has been gathered, but it is the one place. And you weren't here. Tom Wyman. In your very near future, grad, you will be choosing whether to learn or not, to attend or not, to show up or not. Please show up and learn. Responsibility. Take responsibility to be a contributor, not just a consumer. It's too easy to be a consumer. I challenge you to take responsibility to contribute. As we move through the 21st century, technology and communication define the global community. However, we must also take responsibility to ensure the integrity of our local communities, participation, involvement, caring for others, and working to create healthy neighborhoods requires contribution and responsibility of its members. I know this grad class well and they're well on their way to supporting their community. They've been involved in the fundraisers, the Christmas dinner, the barbecue for our local community, and clothes drive for the needy. This class is extremely caring and will serve them well. And we need to strive to do, that, to do those good deeds. Give to those in need, spend yourself in a worthy cause, and in the end, don't wish you had contributed more, just make it happen. Opportunity. Take the opportunity to be of use. Make no excuses to opt out of work. Be a worker. Take the opportunity to help and work for others who might need a helping hand. Take the, all, all, take the opportunities life will present to you and be of use. Just be a worker. And these five words will be tied to your successes and failures of your life and how you embrace, handle, and interpret them will define those successes and failures. However, there is one more word which will help define not only some of your successes and failures, but will define you as a person, and that's relationships. This class has built strong relations with me, and at times they've had some rough patches that made me lose my hair, that any hair that I had over the last few years. But through all of these trials and tribulations, we continue to get stronger together. There's no more evident than from prom and dry grad, where we had over 475 people attend, and it was the, one of the best ever, and I thank you all to that. So continue to build those strong relationships, and remember that sometimes when you are angry, you have the right to be angry but that doesn't give you the right to be cruel. No matter how good a friend is, they're going to hurt you every once in a while, and you must forgive them for that. Sometimes the people you expect to kick, kick you when you're down will be the ones to help you get back up. You can become a hero by doing what has to be done when it needs to be done, regardless of the consequences. 
If you're not careful, you can or will do something in an instant that, give, that will give you or someone you love heartache for life. And even when you think you have no more to give, when a friend cries out to you, you will find strength to help. I know that for sure. Learning and living these lessons will make you better people and challenging yourselves to think differently, live independently, choose wisely, accept responsibility, and seize opportunities through your hard work will provide you more successes than failures. I am confident you will succeed. Please take these lessons and carve a place for yourselves in the real world and make, con make a contribution for a better and more decent humanity. On behalf of all the staff at Mission Senior Secondary, I wish you all grads good luck and good fortune. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. This year's valedictorian was selected from a long list of outstanding candidates by both staff and students. He is a leader in both academics and athletics. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2017 Mission Secondary valedictorian, Kabir Punia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, teachers and administrators, and of course, my fellow graduates. I would like to thank you all for gathering here today to celebrate the accomplishments of the 2017 Class of Mission Secondary Senior School and for encouraging us throughout the years. Well, class, we've done it. We have overcome these five long, grueling years and have officially graduated. Many would say these were the best five years of our lives, but I would have to disagree. I remember when nap time was encouraged as part of our daily school schedule and not just a result of having Mr. McCrimmon as a teacher. We have been through a lot in these past years, and the teachers and staff that have had to deal with me have definitely been through a lot more. To start, we were the guinea pigs of transitioning grade sevens to high school, which, as we all know, did not work out too well. This was, in the moment, a very scary thing, being the new, young, annoying, and to most unwanted little kids in high school. We didn't really feel like we belonged. Despite this, we overcame that first year together. As the years went by, we got more comfortable with our situation. We learned the layout of our school, where all of our classes were, and, as much as they hated it, knew the first names of all of our teachers. But then again, in grade 11, we faced another challenge, when we were all moved to where we are today, Mission Senior Secondary School. Most people were not fond of this idea. The kids already at MSS, worried about new students coming in and ruining what they had. The students coming from Heritage, worried about not having their new building, giant theater, and more importantly, their gourmet meals. And of course, the Hatsik kids. <laughs> worried about where they could park their lifted trucks and have tailgate parties. <laughs> In the beginning, it was tough. New building, new teachers, and a lot of unfamiliar faces. This led to a few challenging months, but in the end, we overcame adversity together. Of course, it was not all good. Our triumphs could not have come without some downfalls. Failed tests, Saturdays where the boys went a little too hard, losing friendships, but creating new ones in the process, and worst of all, Zane leaving One Direction. Through all the ups and downs, we stand here together, united and stronger than ever, as the class of 2017, and truly, we have made MSS great again. I feel this can all be summed up by something one of the greatest poets and philanthropists of our generation, Drake, once said. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Well, most of the team, don't worry guys, is always next year. After we leave here today, the true challenge begins. Many of us will be enrolling into post-secondary, entering the workforce, or trying to find ourselves, whatever that means. We will each be heading off into our own unique directions with different goals and aspirations in mind. 
Wherever your path may lead, I encourage each and every one of you to do whatever it takes to achieve your true goals in life. Don't be scared to go through those years of schooling or endless auditions to attain your ambitions. When your situation seems too challenging or the task in front of you too difficult, remember the times you overcame what you thought in the moment was the end of the world. Remember that the tough times will end and you will overcome. As Muhammad Ali once famously stated, I hated every minute of training. But I said, don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. Thank you, my fellow graduates, for allowing me to speak on your behalf. Sadly, as I look out to the graduating class, I realize that I did not know all of you, and some of you I knew way too well. But from the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank all of you for being here and making these five years bearable. With that said, I would like to say thank you to the administration for allowing me to speak today and providing us with a school we can call our own. Thank you to staff for helping us in any way possible, whether that be volunteering your own time to teach before and after school, organizing school events, or most importantly, in encouraging us to do better than we ever thought possible. Thank you to friends and family that provided us with love, care, and guidance throughout our lives. And thank you to all the parents that have helped us from the beginning. Whether it be holding our hands to the first day of school or our diplomas on the last, you have been our rock, our shoulder to cry on, and our best friends. Without you, none of this would have been possible. You are all the real reason we can stand here today as the graduating class of 2017. Thank you. Thank you, Kabir. And now, Ms. Linda Dickinson will present the Governor General's Award for 2016. The Governor General's Academic Award was established in 1873. That actually means it's older than the school. It recognizes the outstanding achievements of students in Canada right across the country. It's the most prestigious award that Canadian high school students can receive. It's awarded to the student in the graduating class who achieved the highest academic average overall. To this end, the award recipient can't be identified until all of the final exams and provincial exam results have been tabulated. So the award is presented in the following grad year. It is my pleasure to welcome to the stage Mission Secondary Grad Class of 2016, Governor General's Award recipient, Ms. Taylor Fraser. And now we have finally arrived at the main event of this afternoon. The crossing of the stage, a literal passage um, across the stage. So please get your phones, I mean the phone function on your phones and the Instagram and the Snapchats ready. Additionally, scholarships and bursaries will be announced and subsequently presented at the foot of the stage after the graduates have crossed. Mr. Angus Wilson will be presenting our District Authority Scholarship. Louise Brown Evans will be presenting the Theater Production Scholarship. And Sean Wind and Barb Iverson will be presenting on behalf of a, a variety of benefactors. Uh, we ask that you not come down to take pictures, but remain at your seats. We have a professional taking pictures, and graduates will get that picture in their report cards. Um, also, scholarship and bursary winners will also receive their, or will get their photos taken uh, with their presenters. Uh, we also ask that you go light on the applause until all graduates have crossed. Now, uh, if Mr. Pierce, Ms. Dickinson, uh, Mr. Nguyen, and Ms. Miller uh, could take their places, we'll begin. And I'd like to invite Mr. Mark Ahrens to start us off. Oops. Uh, 
And grads, if I can give you one other piece of advice, smile. Smile for the photos, okay? They will last a lifetime. Don't forget. Here we go. Megan Abbott. <laughs> Megan has been awarded the Edwin S. Richard Pack Scholarship for $500. Caitlin Adams. Caitlin has been awarded the Theater Production Scholarship for $100, plus the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Madison Adams. Lori Jane Agamata. Neve Ahrens. Amanda Albright. Kyle Antifaith. Sierra Arujo. Sierra has been awarded the Mission Association for Community Living Bursary, presented by Linda Golligly, Penny Dobson, and Kathy Parrish. <laughs> Kyla Arujo. Kyla is also receiving the Mission Association for Community Living Bursary. Rebecca Archer. Khadija Armstrong. Kendra Arsenal. Kendra is receiving the Mission Senior Secondary Marketing Bursary of $250. Francesca Arthur. Amira Ash. Steve Babin. Michaela Oland. Michaela is receiving the Mission Association for Community Living Bursary. Cameron Badcock. <laughs> Dylan Bacivano. Levi Baker. Taylor Baker. Paris Ballard. Chelsea Bandman. Chelsea is receiving a theater, theater production scholarship in the amount of $100. Tuesday Barron. Kellen Bolio. Victoria Becker. 
And I'd like to invite Mr. Brad Unger up to the stage to continue with the readings. Thank you. What a joy it is to uh, be able to share in this celebration of achievement. Way to go, grads. Brendan Bell. Kavita Bowler. Mandeep Bowler. Maddie Bissett. Ryan Boyvin. Ryan is also receiving the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. Tron Boomsma. Curtis Bowerman. Ashvir Brar. She is also receiving the Albert and Betty McMahon bursary for $1,000. And the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Simran Brar, Casmira Brissett, Darian Brewster. Shane Brown. Shane is also receiving a District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. Caitlin Brown. Nicholas Bruckert. Aaron Bullock. Samantha Burton. Onslow Kane. Onslow is also receiving a Mission Association for Community Living Bursary presented by Linda Golightly, Penny Dobson, and Kathy Parrish. Braden Cairns. Shania Cameron. Parker Campbell. Parker is also receiving the Albert McMahon PAC uh, scholarship in the amount of $500 and a District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. Dan Catterig. Dan is also receiving a Mission Association for Community Living Bursary presented by Linda Golightly. Penny Dobson and Kathy Parrish.
Dawson Chalifo. Dawson is receiving a University of California at Fresno scholarship for tuition and living expenses in the amount of $160,000. Sarah Charlton. <laughs> Owen Choquette Clark Collins. <laughs> Leah Sikany. Tyler Clark, Matthew Cohen, Rylan Colbin. Quinn Cope. <laughs> Megan Cote. <laughs> Aiden Cowell. <laughs> Michael Craig. Sean Crawford. And I'd like to invite up uh, Kevin Gill to continue with our names. Been looking forward to this all day. So we're going to start with uh, Shed Cromar. Chantel Preteau. <laughs> William Kerr. <laughs> Brandon de Apollonia. Christopher Dale. Now, Christopher has been awarded the Sasquatch Lions Club. Guess what? $2,500. Well done. Nathaniel Daniliski. Olivia Daniel. Christian De Rubais. Giovanna Deloca. Amy Desilier. Arvin Daliwal. <laughs> Tejvir Danoa. <laughs> Jasmine Dillon. Stephen Drew.
Brecken McNabb. Riel Drury. <laughs> Gonna miss the coffee, Riel. <laughs> Timothy Dudas. Now, Timothy has been awarded Mission Community Foundation Scholarship of $1,000. Kiera Dunbar. Joanne Dutton. Now, Joanne has got the Theatre Production Scholarship for $100, Christine Morrison Elementary Pack, $500, Siwal Suez Scholarship of $500, which will be presented by Karen Buckner and Agnes Giesbrek. <laughs> Jessica Eglin. Nick Eilers. Mackenzie Emerson. Ethan Erickson. Isaiah Faber. Maya Fairburn Weeb. And Maya has been uh, presented with uh, Mission Community Foundation Scholarship of $1,000. Amelia Favoreau. Janelle Fernandez. <laughs> Taylor Ferris. <laughs> and finally for me, Wyatt Field. And I'm going to be replaced by the ever wonderful Ms. Suzette is Vicky. Buenas tardes, good afternoon, and congratulations to all of you. So, first up, Kayla Fisher has been awarded. With the Prospera Nubula Award of $1,000, a District of Mission QP Local 1285 of $750, the Mission Optimus Club of $1,000, presented by Rose and Dick Brody, and the District Authority Scholarship of $1,250, and the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship of $1,000. Tyson Flores. Alexis Fontaine has been awarded with a District Authority Scholarship of $1,250. Jonah Forstbauer. Scott Francis. Bren Frederick McLean. Jesse Frick. Kimberly Fryer.
Samuel Fu. Zach Funk. <laughs> Jessica Gage. <laughs> Chanel Galuska has been awarded with the Theater Production Scholarship of $100. Maisie Garrett. Asia Geyer has been awarded a Mission Community Foundation Scholarship of $1,000. Michael Geldart. Damon Gill. Jazz Karn Gill. Taryn Preet Gill. Noah Giroux. Simran Gounder. Casey Graff. And now I'd like to call up Karen Campbell to continue reading. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. The first person I'm going to call is Brittany Grant. Brittany is the winner of the District Authority Scholarship Award of $1,250, the Mission Foundation Scholarship of $1,000, the Merit Scholarship from the Joffrey School of Ballet, New York City campus for $5,100. Baldeep Graywall. Baldeep is the winner of the Albert, Albert and Betty McMahon Bursary for $1,000 and the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. Beth Ann Griffiths. <laughs> Beth Ann is the winner of, the, of another District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. <laughs> Jack Gruet. <laughs> Cindy Gu. Tyler Hale. <laughs> Risham Hansra. <laughs> Lucas Hargrove. Bailey Harper. Yeah. 
Chrissy Harrison. Chrissy is the winner of the Albert McMahon PAC Award for $500, Mission Senior Secondary PAC Scholarship $500, Mission Optimist Club $1,000 presented by Rose and Dick Brody, District Authority Scholarship $1,250, Mission Foundation Scholarship of $1,000, the Seawall Sea West Scholarship, $250, presented by Karen Ann Buckner and Agnes Giesbrecht. And next, Maxine Harvey. Mara Hatglen. Alexandra Healy Nicolopoulos. Ian Hederson. Adam Hayes Trogut. Owen Hildebrandt. Joey Hill. Blake Hepner. Brock Holsworth. Christopher Hopkins. Noel Horton. Noel is the winner of the Theatre Production Scholarship for $100. And Jocelyn Hughes. Jocelyn is the winner of the Karens Family Scholarship, $300, presented by Randy Karens. Christine Morrison Pack Bursary, $500. All Saints Anglican Truth and Rec Reconciliation Scholarship, $250, presented by Reverend Paul Bowie, Jan Openshaw, Renee Ingster, and Sam Green. This scholarship is awarded to an outstanding Aboriginal student in the name of all saints' desire for reconciliation with the Indigenous peoples of our community. Jade Hudson. Jade Innes. Jade is the winner of the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Greg Ernie. <laughs> Alyssa Iverson. Gordon Jacob. Yeah. Logan James. Yeah. Catherine Johnson. Yeah. Catherine is also a winner of a theater production scholarship for $100. Viviana Johnson. Devlin Johnston. Devlin is a winner of the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. 
Gavin Jones Worry. Hey Sun Jung, University of British Columbia, two master award, three thousand dollars, district authority scholarship, twelve hundred and fifty dollars, and mission foundation scholarship, fifteen hundred dollars. And last but not least, Andrew Kang. And at this time, I'd like to call up Jeevan Dhaliwal. I'm very happy to present him as the next reader. Good afternoon, everyone. Molly Karn. Roby Caruses. Harleen Kaur. Harleen is receiving the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. Alex Kawasaki. Harmeet Kosa. <laughs> Asha Koireti. Brooke Keenis. Brooke is receiving the District Authority Scholarship for 1250 and a scholarship from the University of Lethbridge for swimming in the amount of $12,000. Do Kim. Morgan King Ross Kemp. Samantha Kingston. <laughs> Devin Clausen. <laughs> Tayden Klein. Kyle Clink. <laughs> Riley Klimmer. <laughs> Riley is receiving the Theater Production Scholarship for $100, the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250, and the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Selena Coops. <laughs> Selena is receiving the Suwalsa West Scholarship for 250, presented by Karen Ann Buckner and Agnes Kiesbrecht. <laughs> Sebi Crackman. Liam Cranabetter. <laughs> Olivia Coons. <laughs> Olivia is receiving the Mission Secondary uh, Alumni Scholarship for $500. <laughs> Evan LaBerge. Michael Lambert. 
Michael is receiving the community, Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000 and the Sawalsa West Scholarship for $500, again presented by Karen Ann Buckner and Agnes Giesbrecht. Chelsea Langan. Amber Lee Langley. Elijah Laxton. Stella Lee. Stella is receiving the Mission Panago Pizza, Mrs. Sulchana Chand Memorial Scholarship for $550, presented by Mrs. Binder Berdwaj. <laughs> Kayleen Laguerre. <laughs> Curtis. Leitner. <laughs> James Limoges. Kira Lipke. Vince Lissing. Ying Chen Lu. Helena Lordren. <laughs> Emily Rose Lynch. I'd like to call on Mr. Daryl Strange to continue. Congratulations from, from me to the grad class of 2017. Aiden Marheis. <laughs> Ashley McDonald. <laughs> Matthew McDonald. Ryan McLean. Ryan is receiving the Mission Public School District Support Staff QP 593 scholarship for $1,200, the Sasquatch Lions Club Award for $2,500, the Orangeman Volleyball Club Award for $500, the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000, the Dudney Elementary Pack Ron Shawford Bursary for $500, the Hatzik Middle Pack Scholarship for $500, and the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. Way to go, Ryan. <laughs> Brendan McLeod. <laughs> Taylor Madeira. Seth Mampa. Donovan Mayer. Hey, 
Hallie Malchi. Hallie is receiving the Mission Teachers Union Award for $500, presented by Janice Nikolic. The District Authorities Scholarship for $1,250. The Davy Sanding Gravel Scholarship for $500, and the Mission Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. A new man. The new man is receiving the Davy Sand and Gravel Scholarship for $500 and the Mission Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Sukraj Mann. <laughs> Jessica Marish. Natasha Marish. <laughs> Dylan Marriott. Dylan is receiving the Mission Senior Secondary PAC Scholarship for $500. Taylor Martin. Megan Matlick. Sarah Matus. Brody Maxwell. Jax McBurney. Aaron McCall. Aaron is receiving the CUPE Local Scholarship for $1,200, the Mission Senior Secondary PAC Scholarship for $500, the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250, the McGill University Bursary for $5,000, and the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Way to go, Aaron. <laughs> Megan McCoach. Yeah. Oliver McComb. Yeah. Annie McDonald. Stormy McDonald. I'd now like to call to the stage our drama teacher, Mrs. Lois Brown Evans. This is truly an honor. Ryan McGilvery. Liam McInnes. Conlon McKenzie. Mackenzie McPhee. Murdoch McSween. <laughs> Split. Murdoch is the recipient of the Mission Senior Secondary Marketing Bursary for $250. David Meyer. Hannah Meyer. Yeah. 
Hayden Meyer. Shani Metcalf. Margaret Myers. <laughs> Margaret is the recipient of the Harris and Company Law Scholarship for $200. Evan Miller. Evan has been awarded the PFD Foundation Bursary for $500. Sierra Milne. <laughs> Natasha Minhinick. <laughs> Rain Minchel Hogard. Destiny Mitchell. Jake Mitchell. Taddy Mitchell. Cleo Mo Tyler Mole Jaden Mujelski Hey Yuck Quinn, Eric Moon. Dylan Moore. Shane Moore. Brendan Moores. <laughs> Michaela Morganti. <laughs> Patrick Moser. Kenyon Mutala. Dakaro Mueller. Gabe Muirhead. Ridge Muirhead. <laughs> Alexis Mulvahill. <laughs> Levi Murchison. Joshua Murdoch. Yeah. 
And now I would like to call upon Mrs. Shaw. Hey, Swell, and my personal congratulations to all of the graduates. My first call up is Shelby Murdoch. Serena Mervang. Joshua Nazer. Shh, I gotta announce this. Joshua is the recipient of some scholarships. He has the University of the Fraser Valley Holistic Criminal Justice Entrance Scholarship in the amount of $1,250. He has also won the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. And the Harry Gill Real Estate Scholarship Fund for $2,500 presented by Mr. Harry Gill. Congratulations. <laughs> Lexi Nelson. Lexi has won the PFD Foundation Bursary in the amount of $500. Savannah Nelson. Savannah has won the Order of the Eastern Star Masonic Lodge Lansdowne Chapter Scholarship for $500 and a Theater Production Scholarship in the amount of $100. Holly Neufeld. Cole Nielsen. Hunter Nitch. Emma Norum. Emma has won the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Aiden P. O'Brien. Autumn O'Rourke. Brianna Olson. Brianna has won the Theater Production Scholarship for $100. Mackenzie Page. Merlina Palma. Cameron Palmer. Jade Parsons. Joshua Parsons. <laughs> Zach Peltier. Zach is the winner of the All Saints Anglican Truth and Reconciliation Scholarship for $250, presented by Reverend Paul Bowie, Jan Openshaw, Renee Inkster, and Sam Green. This scholarship is awarded to an outstanding Aboriginal student in the name of All Saints' desire for reconciliation with Indigenous peoples of our community. He is also the winner of a Mission Community Foundation scholarship for $1,000, and he is also the winner of the Sewal Sewes scholarship in the amount of $1,000 presented by Karen Ann Buckner and Ann Giesbrick. Agnes Giesbrick. Stephen Perry. <laughs> Chloe Peters <laughs> is the winner of a scholarship, Harrison Company Law Scholarship for $200.
Congratulations. Christopher Petty. Brandon Pham. Brandon has won the Mission Soccer Club Bursary for $500 and the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. Bree Phelps. Bree is the winner of the Mission Optimist Club, $1,000, presented by Rose and Dick Brody, Mission Foundation Scholarship for $1,000, and a District Authority Scholarship in the amount of $1,250. Congratulations. Courtney Pfeiffer is the winner of the PFD Foundation Bursary for $500. Congratulations. And Caleb Pilgrim. Caleb has won the Vancouver Film School Scholarship in the amount of $5,000. Jaden Polischuk. Kabir Punya. Kabir is winner of the University of the Fraser Valley Hollister Science Technology Entrance Scholarship for $1,500 plus one year of tuition. The Albert McMahon Elementary PAC for $500 the Mission Foundation Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, and the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. And I'd like to welcome Mr. Simpson to the podium. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. Uh, see you at the racetrack on Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Jacob Pruden. <laughs> Sam Pai has been awarded the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. Nicole Chin. Ravi Rai has been awarded the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. Gerline Randawa has been awarded the Albert and Betty McMahon Bursary for $1,000, District Authority Scholarship for $1,250, and the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Ravdeep Randawa has won the Gaspard's Keep Canada Green Online Scholarship Contest for $1,000 and a District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. Keenan Rankle Michelle Regan has been awarded a District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. Hayden Riley. <laughs> Maxwell Rex has been awarded the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Braden Rogers. Angela Rodriguez. Tyler Ross.
Aaron Russell has been awarded the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Landon Russell. <laughs> Laura Russell. Montana Rutledge. Martin Sashade. <laughs> Darian Saki Kibara. <laughs> Islam Salah De Regi. Michael Sandy. <laughs> Loveline Sandu. Loveline has been awarded the University of Victoria Entrance Award for $2,000, the Hillside Traditional Pack Award for $500, the District of, of Mission CUPE Local 1267 Award for $1,000, presented by Jennifer Tass and the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship in, in $1,000. Uh, Meninder Sandhu. Joshandeep Sangha. Paneet Sangha. Ashley Sangera. Sierra Sater has been awarded the Mission Principals and Vice Principals Association Jim Slarsarchuk Memorial, $750, Hatsik Mill Pack Scholarship for $500. Isabella Shiopu has been awarded the UFE Hollister Health Discipline Entrance Scholarship for $2,000 plus first year tuition and the Mission Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. <laughs> Alexia Seal has been awarded first year tuition to Simon Fraser University in approximate value of $8,000 and the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250 a foundation scholarship for $1,000. Pavel Sikon has been awarded the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250 and the Mission Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Bailey Sepke. And Maya Sereda. I'd now like to call upon Miss Catherine Hall to present. Justin Sharma. William Wong Shen. Lexi Sibrian.
Natalie Seacon. Ripple Sidhu. Jesse Simpson. Sari Siam. Sari has been offered a University of Victoria Entrance Scholarship for $2,000, a University of Calgary Entrance Scholarship for $5,000, $4,000 Entrance Scholarship from Western University, District Authority Scholarship for $1,250, and a Mission Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Kimberly Smith. Megan Smith. Riley Sotizna. Scott Solberg. Kat Solomon. Angelia Spitharakis. <laughs> Alita St. Jean. <laughs> Evan Stevens. Melanie Stevens Franco. Melanie is awarded the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250, the Mission Foundation Scholarship for $1,000, the Siwal Sewes Scholarship for $250, presented by Karen Ann Buckner and Agnes Giesbrecht. Benton Stobbert. Jacob Stubley. Jacob's awarded the Theatre Production Scholarship for $100. Victoria Sucra. Victoria is awarded the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Kyle Sunder. Christina Sanga. Sabrina Sphinx. <laughs> Hannah Tan. Hannah is awarded the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Elsa Torianen. Christopher Telford. Seth Temple. Zene Theron. <laughs> Skylar Timer. <laughs> Sukisha Thind. Thurkel. 
Corey is awarded the District Award Authority Scholarship of $1,250 and the Mission Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Amanda Thompson. Krista Thorne. Krista is awarded the AVID Scholarship for $250. Patricia Tippe. Patricia is awarded the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Alexander Towns. Alexander is awarded the Mission Association for Community Living Bursary, presented by Linda Golightly, Penny Dobson, and Kathy Parrish. And now I'd like to present our final reader of the night, Ms. Dania Stacu. Hey, Sowell. Congratulations, grads. Cole Sitet. Ashley Trimble has, has been awarded with the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Noah Trinder has been awarded the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. Elston Trottier best fancy dancer out there. Henry Tusi. Henry has been awarded with the University of Toronto Entrance Scholarship worth $1,000, the Abbotsford District Teachers Association presented by Diane Schreiner, $1,000, Mission Foundation Scholarship, $1,000, Theatre Production Scholarship for $100, and the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. Petrus Vandelite. Felicity Verbeek. Cassidy Vernery. Adam Vedero. Maria Volosato. Maria has been awarded the Aaron Munt Scholarship for $1,000 the Schulich Leadership Science Scholarship nominee, Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $2,000, and the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250. Alex Wagstaff. Brianna Wagstaff. Hannah Wait. Jordan Walzak. Shabdeep Wander. Hao He Wong. Dawson Wansink. Dawson, Dawson has been awarded the Gaspard's Keep Canada Green Online Scholarship Contest for $1,000, Sowal Soes Scholarship for $1,000, presented by Karen Ann Buckner and Agnes Giesbrick, 
the District Authority Scholarship for $1,250, and the Mission Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. Adam Watson. Jonah Wisner. Mason Weller. Julia Welsh. Veronica Wortman. Jesse Whitaker. Claire Williams. Paige Wolf. Tommy Young. Emma Young. Will Uni. Will has been awarded the Harris and Company Law Scholarship for $200 presented by Mr. Jeevan Dhaliwal. Haley Zilkowski. Brooklyn Zerk. Brooklyn has been awarded the Mission Dentists Association Scholarship for $1,000, the Mission Community Foundation Scholarship for $1,000, and the Sewall Suez Scholarship for $250, presented by Karen Ann Buckner and Agnes Giesbrough. And Nathan Kirkwood. Congratulations, graduation class of 2017. Thank you, Ms. Daku. Thank you to all the readers. Ms. Allison Evans, our scholarship and bursary czar, gave us some frightening numbers, as you heard some of them during the presentation. This year, Mission Secondary Grad were awarded $358,000 in scholarship and bursaries. Congratulations. Also, a big thank you to Ms. Evans for her hard work in helping to bring in the dollars. This brings our afternoon to a close, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm ready for some hot chocolate, I don't know about you. <laughs> but before Sherry and I sign off, we'd like to thank our administration, uh, our administrative team, uh, Jim Pierce, Linda Dickinson, Airdrie Miller and Tom Newen for helping us, uh, for doing their part to do this thing and also helping us to successfully get these fine young people and turn them into contributing members of society. Thank you. And finally, uh, I'd like to invite our Vice Principal, uh, Ms. Airdrie Miller, to the podium for some important closing words. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, graduates and honored guests. This ceremony marks the end of five years of change, growth, and learning. Graduates, my wish for you is that you become lifelong learners. The world is a beautiful, astonishing, wondrous place. There is always more to learn. As this afternoon's ceremony draws to a close, I would like to thank our superintendent, Mr. Angus Wilson, for his words of wisdom. 
Thank you also to Mr. Larry Jepson, our Assistant Superintendent. I would also like to acknowledge and thank members of our Board of Education, Chairperson Rick McCamey, Vice Chair Tracy Loeffler, Trustees Shelley Carter, Randy Cairns, Jim Taylor, and Secretary Treasurer Corrine Becker. Thank you, Mr. Pierce, our Principal. Thank you to Mr. Nguyen and Ms. Dickinson, my fellow Vice Principals. To all our presenters, readers, individual and group donors, thank you for taking the time to celebrate with us today. Lastly, an event like this cannot take place without many hours of planning. Thanks to our grand percolator, Mr. John McGowan. I would also like to thank Ms. Lee and Mr. Walton, our Masters of Ceremonies. The MSS. <laughs> the MSS Commencement Committee, including Mr. Colin Love. Chef, Chef Peter Bucher. And his support staff. Ms. Evans, Ms. Iverson, Mrs. Wint, and Ms. Purser. The MSS clerical staff, the MSS yearbook team led by Ms. Files, Mr. Deemers and the st staff of Seven Oaks Alliance Church, thank you for having us. It's time for the parents to get their cameras out and we are going to announce the class. Um, I'm going to ask all the graduates to stand and face their parents please. And on the count of three, we are going to put our hats up into the air and uh, have a great photo op. Congratulations. I proudly present the class of 2017. One, two, three. The class may be dismissed. Please remember to take your water bottles with you.